Welcome back to Twyan Game, where we are doing part two of Guild of Heroes. I jump forward in the gameplay and I'm showing you a bunch of new stuff and how to play. This is an ability chest. Let's open it. Awesome. Uh, take a look at them here. Here we go. All right. You could always use this one because it's a little faster in the mana respawning. This is the information on it. It's called the fire boast. Boost? Fire boost. Huh. As you can see, you can also upgrade each one as well. This one goes up to level 8. Alright, so swap abilities. Sure. Yeah, let's replace it. Unequip. Or just equip this one. And yeah, okay, here we go. And this is the shop. So in the shop, you can sell your stuff, but it's not always the best thing to do. Because you could actually use those items to upgrade other things. But you need to, need to keep um, room in your bag space. This is the potion. You actually have to request them to make potions and it takes time for get your request done. So this is an interesting thing. And this is your quest for regular achievements, guild quests, and daily quests. Always good to do them. As you can see here, you'll only get the daily quests once you meet the blacksmith and the white mage. And the guild's quests you'll only get once you join a guild. So this is what the town looks like. I can't join a guild yet. Alright, you could buy gold. I don't really like to buy gold. You could buy diamonds. And uh, this is the map. Yay, we've gotten so far. Now with this, you could raid if you have raid tickets. You can get someone to help you by hiring them as well as you could just play it as a regular play. I'm just gonna jump into a random battle here. So as you can see, these are my attacks. With my attacks, they all have cooldowns. Now the first one, the red one, is actually the fast cooldown. It's really strong. Uh, the second one is a multi-attack, so it actually attacks three people at a time. So it's good to wait till you have three people on that one. And then the third one does a good attack as well. Oh, nice. Love picking up new things. Um, the third one does a really strong one attack. Nice. I always love upgrading things here. Um, so this is my crystal ball. It just again helps with abilities and I still have a couple more things that I still need to get to complete my whole, um, whole all my equipment as you can see I still have two empty spots let's keep on going to another battle now don't get it when you're battling it is good to move around every once in a while um, I wasn't moving around at first but then I realized that my health was going down a lot quicker. Whereas, uh, like, when you're battling mages, you can see that they're going to attack. And so you just move your character off to the side quickly. Also, I can move my characters around where these guys are doing melee attacks. So that uh, I can have time to cast a spell and they're not constantly beating me down. Also, if I'm far away on the map and uh, they have to run all the way to me, I usually can get a good couple attacks in before they can hit me. 
I also noticed that uh, during these games, they don't always come from the same direction. So if you know that they came from the one direction first, try switching to the other side of the map so that when they're coming at you again, you have more time to do some attacks before they come and hit you. Also, I have autoplay enabled right now, so um, my characters can actually do all these attacking and stuff on their own. So I can be like, here, spin my tea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, since I do use the auto attack every once in a while, except for boss battles, I really don't like the boss battles. But uh, I do like using my auto attack so that I can, say, do some work around the house and it can just play the game for me. So I just have to make sure that I'm not going to die or I'm not on too hard of a level. Gosh, I hope you guys don't hear my washing machine going in the background. <laughs> I didn't hear it when I did the playback. Alright. Um, as you can see, my health is getting low. It's the big, gigantic round thing. And just to the bottom left of it are my health potions. Though I don't know why I just, like, used the health potion and then ended the game, you know? I was kind of a waste of a health potion. Bad me, bad me. As you can see, I just don't have enough bag space. That's why I like to save up my um, gems for that. So that I can always get more bag space and stuff like that. That is something that I'm always worried about in most of the games that I play. Anyways, this game is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Twying Game. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. This is Twy, out.